you're looking for the one belt that you're gonna have the rest of your life, this could be it. Hey guys, this is Coop from GarageGymReviews.com and today we have an absolute behemoth to review. This is the SBD belt. Yes, that's it. There's no special name for it. It's just the SBD belt. Let's get into it. Okay, the SBD belt is one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive belts that's on the market. It's an absolute behemoth. It's huge, it's expensive, and personally, I love it. Here's the specs. The SBD belt is the largest belt that is IPF approved. This means it's a maximum 13 millimeters thickness and 10 centimeters in width. It's manufactured in Great Britain, so this isn't something that's made in China or elsewhere. It's actually made in Great Britain where SBD is founded. They use English hide, which is prepared over five months, they say, for both strength and longevity. I can tell you that this belt is strong and will probably last a long time because I've had it for like two months and it's still not broken in. It's designed obviously for power lifters and strong men and it features the really the thing that's most stand out about it is the patent pending buckle which has a gliding lever action and the adjustability of a prong belt. And finally, this is one of the most expensive belts that's available. It costs $227.50, not including shipping. You have to spend $270 to get free shipping. So as you can see, the SBD belt is huge. There's no doubt about it. It's four inches, well actually 10 centimeters wide, which is the maximum that IPF allows. And it's also really the big thing is the 13 millimeters thickness, okay? This is the thickest belt that I've ever put on and the thickest belt that you can really buy that you can use in competitions. What that means is it's harder to break in. Without a doubt, this is the stiffest, most heavy duty belt I've ever used, which is a good thing because it's probably gonna last a really long time. It is made for people that in reality are much stronger than I am but in a bad sense, it takes a long time to break in. I've had it for about two months, I've used it three to four times a week, and I have no break in at all. I mean, it literally looks the exact same as it was when it came out. It feels the exact same as when it came out. I'm hoping it breaks in. I've seen other reviews and people talk about it online and they say it breaks in, but in my opinion, it hasn't broken in yet. The English hide that's prepped over five months, okay, that's one of the reasons it looks so pretty and is probably gonna last so, so long. But on the inside, they use suede. So they use this beautiful red suede, but something to be aware of, when you first get the belt, if you're sweating, this is gonna bleed onto your shirt. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why they don't use something that doesn't bleed, but that's a warning they have and I've seen it happen, so they suggest wearing a dark shirt when you initially get it. Now, onto the part that really, the reason that most of you would buy this, and that's this lever right here. SBD is the only company that currently makes a belt that uses this lever system. And the reason is because it's patent pending. In my opinion, I've used other lever belts I've used other prong belts. This is my favorite system, no doubt about it. I wish they would offer this separately so you could just buy the prong system and put it on other belts if you wanted to. But I love this lever system. The reason I like it is because it's so much like a prong belt. Most other lever systems, you have to go about when you want to change, you have to get a screwdriver out and adjust the settings, everything like that. This one, you just pop it open, put it where you'd like it to be, and then cinch it down. No other prong belt is like that. So, the reason you'd want something like that is if you had a lot of burgers the night before and you couldn't fit in your belt, you can easily go to a bigger setting. Or, if you just don't eat very much and you lost some weight, then you can go down to another setting simply in a workout. You don't have to go through the whole rigmarole of having to undo and redo and everything like that. That's a big deal. And not only that, this system is really heavy duty. I mean, this metal is I mean, this thing's not gonna break. It's gonna last a long time. I really like it, and I wish they would apply it to other belts. Now, although I'm a big fan of the SBD belt, there is something I'm not a big fan of, and that's the price. Like I said, this is one of the biggest, but also one of the most expensive belts that's available. In my opinion, I'd like to see them offer it at a lower price. There's other companies that have great belts, companies like Rogue, which is the same belt that Mark Bell uses for Slingshot, and a couple other companies do as well. It's a great belt. It's not as good as this one, but it's not nearly the price as this one. Um, also, companies like Pioneer are making awesome belts that 
really many people are say are equal to or better than this except they don't have the prong system or they don't have the lever system, excuse me. However, they're also much cheaper than this belt. Literally, this is the most expensive belt you can buy. Even the Pioneers, I think, if you get customization on them, they're still, I think, cheaper than this. Not only that, the other thing that I don't like about this, from what I've heard from other people, is the lead time takes forever. So once you order it, it may take four to six weeks or longer for you to get it. Also, they're constantly on back order. The reason is probably because they're handmade and they're a smaller company, but something to understand, if you want your belt and you're used to Amazon Prime shipping, this thing isn't gonna come in two days, okay? It's coming probably directly from Great Britain, um, and they've gotta order them in and fix them all up, and they're not a big company, so that's the reason it takes so long. But overall, if you're looking for the one belt that you're gonna have the rest of your life, this could be it. This could be the last belt that you ever have to buy. Understand though, you're only gonna be able to use this for squat, deadlift, and bench and press, okay? This isn't something obviously, I mean, can you imagine watching an Olympic weightlifter use this? Also, have you seen Ray Williams? Check out a video of this massive lad. Okay, this has been Coop from GarageMreviews.com. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the belt. Would you spend this much? Would you spend how much this bad boy costs? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see reviewed next. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Do all that other good stuff that helps me out and takes your time. Until next time, this is Coop. Peace.